congratulations, Thomas. Thanks. Uh, you must be you must be delighted uh, with that. Um, do you think uh, that all the sacrifices you you've made? Obviously, you've been away from your family, <laughs> had to deal with COVID and all those things. Are they worth it now? It was worth it uh, every single day so far. I um, was uh, part of a of an um, amazing club from the first day. Like I said, I felt huge support from, from day one. And uh, I'm very grateful to be at the sideline of this team. Um, what another energy, energetic performance, full of, full of positive attitude, full of hunger. Um, what a spirit um, to show in moments where we needed to suffer in first half and what a reaction in second half. And to never, never have, never, never, the, the heads were never down, heads were always up, even after these big chances that we missed, always stayed positive and uh, we never regret something, so it was, was fantastic. Job is not done yet, we are in final, we are in two finals now, and, and uh, um, yeah, the, the sacrifice uh, <laughs> I personally gave was, was is worth it since day one. Matt Law. Hi Thomas. Hi. Um, I, I, I just wondered. I mean, obviously you're you're in the finals already, but I, I wondered with that performance, what potential does this team and these players have? Because it could have been four or five goals tonight. Yeah. Yes, it could have. And and uh, I am very. Uh, don't get me wrong, but but with any chance you don't you don't take and you miss and and you know you play on the edge because Real Madrid can hurt you in any second out of absolutely nothing by pure individual quality so to hang in there to 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 to, to continue with a positive body language to to hang in there physically and and uh, in a mental attitude like today to 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 stay aggressive to stay active to use to never stop trying to play for the second goal never allowing deep uh, um, deep never allowing real madrid to push us deep and and create chances this is this is really huge so so i'm absolutely delighted with this uh, spirit and uh, big credit and uh, big congratulations to the team jacob steinberg like Thomas, you've already beaten Manchester City once in a really big game. Do you think that has any relevance to, to the final? Does it give you the upper hand, do you think, going into that? No, not the upper hand, but it gives us a good feeling. It gives us self-confidence and uh, we played the, the semi-final on the edge and it was uh, we used it because uh, I said said before and I will say, say, say it always for me, Bayern Munich, uh, throughout the last season and, and uh, to the very, very end of this season uh, with Manchester City. They are the benchmark and we wanted to close the gap to, to Man City in this one match in semi-final, which we did on a very impressive performance and we will exactly need the same level of performance again. But it, give, it gave us belief, it gave us self-confidence self for, for every game after that because it is, uh, it is the highest level that you can, you can face. And we have these huge challenges in Premier League and we came out of it very, very strong. We showed mentality and quality in all of these matches. So yes, we will arrive uh, with self-confidence and with a positive uh, energy in Istanbul and hopefully with everybody, no injured players. And we will arrive in Istanbul to win, not to be, uh, to be one of the participants. We, we want to arrive because we, we arrive to, with a clear focus to win. Okay, last two, James Robson and James Benj to finish. James. Hi, Thomas. Congratulations. Hi. Um, given the, the nature of the time that you came into the job and the, the having to just get started straight away, um, have we actually seen what a Thomas Tuchel side looks like? Or has it been a case of you kind of just having to get the job done on almost a week-to-week -week basis? And if so, what can we expect to see, you know, once you actually have got your feet under the table here, you've got a house? Well, I, I'm pretty happy with what I see, honestly, every week in, week out. And I was pretty happy with what I saw in the first training and in the first game against Wolves because I saw individually and as a group very, very strong, brave behavior. Um, and, uh, and that never stopped. And it's, uh, like I said, it's a pleasure to be in the dressing room and, and to be a part of this. And I feel like as a part of it, it's my job to to give my energy and my knowledge and my guidance into this and to, to lead this group. So this is 
what I do and I do it the best way that I can and this uh, we have so much support and and I don't I don't have the feeling that it, it's only on me I play my part and it's it's the players credit what we see here um, what we see is for me pretty strong because uh, we adapt to 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 multiple situations we have answers to a lot of questions that are asked during matches today uh, for example, when we cannot find always a skillful solution, we are very, very strong. We hang in and we fight our way through. We use our bodies, we use our work rate. Uh, if we could not outplay them, we outwork them today with pure intensity and, and work rate. So it's, it's, it's a lot that this team can, can uh, produce day in, day out and makes me very happy. Okay, last quick one, James Bench. Uh, hi Thomas, could you just reflect on what's going through your mind in the second half when those chances weren't quite going in? Are you able to see the positives that you're getting so many, or I yeah I, I think maybe I was I was even more negative than my players uh, for for some minutes because uh, I know that we were playing on the edge, but I was like the, the influence from my players to me was huge. I, I got sucked into this game instantly after the chances because. Uh, we didn't step back. We never got frustrated. We, I never, I never saw a change in our mentality. I never saw a change in body language. So we stayed very positive and very brave, and and uh, we didn't regret things. I had the feeling, and and this was this was a big reaction today. On the sideline, you always worry because uh, you know that you play on the edge with Real Madrid. You can always score a goal. Uh, but again, we managed to have a clean sheet, and it was uh, again well deserved with a strong goalkeeper and 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 guys who were really committed to defend. And we really wanted it, wanted it badly, and that's the key.